The second I got my hands on this house <laughs> and it was under contract, I reached out to Leela. Leela's my agent. Her great niece. Uh huh. And I just said I have some questions if he'll answer because I'd like to modify a few things that I don't want to without his blessing, essentially. And so she said, let me present those questions to him. And she gave me a few responses. And then she mentioned that he was actually going to be here for the symposium at OU. And um, that if, if I minded, if they stopped by. And of course, I felt like I got a great gift. Well, that was built in 63. Because I, I left that year to go to Kentucky to teach. And uh, a friend of mine, a colleague who worked together before, Bob, Robert Allen Bowlby. Uh, took the working drawings, got a contract, and he supervised the house very carefully. When we walked in, the, the front of the house seems very simple and is not attention grabbing by any passerby. It's very plain. But then once you walk in, the house essentially explodes. It opens to the sky, to the golf course, and it really is impactful. That's your first impression. And then from there, it's kind of like you're on a nature walk and you can go down or you can go up and because it's split level and discover new shapes. I mean, it is, I say, when I, when I describe it to my friends, I say, I bought a sculpture that I'm living in. I would have to say it was the light, just coming in and seeing it explode. That's kind of the way I describe it. You have two stories of glass across the back door of the whole house. So I love the natural light that came in. And then I loved how all of the rooms are open to this space. And so we have a young family. And to me, having and knowing where my children are and kind of living together uh, is a key part. So yeah, this is coming in. We had an art bookstore. So I want to make bookshelves and a little upstairs little alcove that goes out in the space. So place to read books and be quiet. Because uh, the houses around it, up, up, up top, I wanted the house to be very quiet and neutral from the outside. But when you got out here, the space is big. And my main, as I've told you before, my main interest was in this roof to soar up and out and as a metaphor of aspiration. And getting up off the ground. Like with the right, you want to tie yourself to the ground, but you lift off. And it's the same thing with me. I'm interested by that.